Again. I was just strumming on my ukulele, or what's it called in Hawaii? You know this one because we've talked about it before. It's called the jumping flea. Yeah, you see that? That's a ukulele. Just it's, it's not a really, really large instrument, but but in Hawaii they call it the jumping flea. Crazy name, but again, if that's what they call it in Hawaii, that's good enough for me. Hey, thanks for being here. I appreciate you taking time again out of your busy schedule. I know you guys are really busy out there doing all kinds of stuff, uh, running around, hopefully exercising a little bit today, and maybe reading some more, playing some music, whatever. Hey, speaking of that, I hope you have the instruments. I hope you've gathered up your instruments, whether it's pots and pans or drums and everything, because we're going to play some music today. But again, I'm Dr. John R. Gertie, and on behalf of Dr. Dude B. Funky, we're going to take you on another little journey through the Alpha Bone Orchestra today. Now, I just actually spoke to Dr. Doobie Funk, and he's very disappointed that he can't be with, you, with us here today. But he, you know, he's a world famous musicologist. He's a busy man. He's a busy man. He travels all over the world. In fact, last I talked to him, I think he was in Kansas City. Uh, man, in Kansas City is a great city. Oh, yes. Man, it's a great, great city. Great music, lots of good music. It's, it's uh, Kansas City blues and jazz. That's, that's really good stuff. And they got musicians there, really famous musicians, like Count Basie, Count Basie and his orchestra. Really good. Charlie Bird Parker. Yeah, Bird was his middle name. That was kind of his nickname. He used to play this, this saxophone. Man, and you know what else they got in Kansas? Ooh, Kansas City. They got some of the best barbecue in the world. It is delicious. If you get, ever get a chance to Kansas City, make sure you go. And when you do, make sure you get you some Kansas City barbecue. And also make sure you listen to, you know, get someone to play you some uh, Count Basie. Count Basie and his orchestra or Charlie Parker. They're great Kansas City musicians. But that's where Dr. Poot Doobie Funky is right now. He tells me he's traveling in Kansas City. So, so he apologizes for not being here with you today. But we're still going to go on and go through another journey through the Alpha Bone Orchestra, okay? Now, you all got your instruments, right? You got your pats and pans. You got a drum or a kazoo or anything. Yeah, I tell you what, that kazoo sounding good, isn't it? I love that kazoo. That's one of my favorite instruments. Yeah. So, um, but you know what we're going to talk about today? We're going to talk about a couple of things. We're going to do our letter game a little bit later, and we're going to have a percussion break, you know. But what we're going to do right now, though, is we're going to talk about, and I will show you, that one of the greatest things about music, okay? This is one of the greatest, coolest things about music, is that you can make up songs, and you can write about anything in the world that you want to write about. Anything in the world you want to write about. That's one of the coolest things about music. I mean, if you want to, you can write it. And you should just write about stuff that it happened in your life or things you see or notice or want to talk about. For example, you could write about, if you want, cold pizza blues. I mean, I love pizza. Everybody loves pizza, right? But, you know, sometimes it's cold. You know, that kind of might give you the blues. But you could write a song about cold pizza blues if you want. Or... You can write something like, something silly like, uh, let's see, uh, ah, the dog pooped on the rug blues, if you want. If you want to write that, write a song about that, you can, you know, all right? Or like, uh, you know, I don't know, SpongeBob SquarePants blues. I don't know. You can write songs about anything in the world that you want. That's one of the coolest things about music, 
Okay. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you today. And you know, I'll tell you what, I was, I was walking around the other day and, and I got back into my room and I, I took off my shoes. And I'm afraid to say that once I took off my shoes, I started smelling around. <laughs> I'm starting to stink a little bit. I think I had the stinky feet blues. So I wrote a song about that. Okay, I'm going to play it for you now. And if you want, you can get your instruments and play along with me as well. But I'm going to sing a song, and this one's called The Stinky Feet Blues. <laughs> Woke up this morning Had them stanky feet blues Ooh. Don't wanna get those stanky feet blues Woke up this morning Had them stanky feet blues Ooh, they stanky Looked in the corner, oh, and Grandpa seemed to have them too. Sniffed to my left, you know I sniffed to my right. Ooh, something stanking over there. Sniffed to my left. Oh, you know I sniffed to my right. Ooh, so bad. Had the stinky feet in the morning. Oh, got them stinky feet blues at night. I'm gonna grab my kazoo once again because I just can't live without it. To my left, you know I sniffed to my right. Yeah, I sniffed to my left. Woo. You know I sniffed to my right. I got the stinky feet in the morning. I got them stanky feet. Oh, yes, I got them stanky feet. Oh, yes, I got them stanky feet. Late at night. Man, you see that? Now how about that? Who'd have ever thought that you would write a song about Stinky Feet Blues? But that's one of the coolest things about music. You know, you can write songs about anything. Anything in the world, including Stinky Feet. So when you think one of the cool things about mu playing music, go ahead, you make up your own songs. You can do that anytime you want. Anything you want. So that's one of the great things about music, you know. Stanky Feet Blues. We'll play that some more later in the future, too, okay? Now, oh, you know what time it is right now? Time for a percussion break. Now, today's percussion break is going to be about an instrument. It's called the claves. C-L-A-V-E-S. That's how you spell it. Now, the claves is, is an instrument of Spanish origin. See, it's just like it's really two, two sticks, kind of, right? But see, you know, it's, it, it's more than just two sticks, because let me tell you the, the secret about the claves. 
Look at this. Look at this right here. See that little hole, sort of cut out place right there? That's what makes the claves really cool. Now what you do is, you cup your hand like this, right? And you create like a little space in there. And you wrap it around the clave like that. Now, you tell me if you can't hear a difference between this, right? When I, if I just go like this, or if I do this. Hear the difference? That's because you've created like a little cavity, a little space in here, and it makes the, the clave sound a lot better, a lot richer, nicer sound, more beautiful sound. So you got your, let's, let's do a little percussion break. Okay, get, get, your, get your instrument, gather them up, get your pots and pans, get your drums, get your kazoo if you have one, uh, get a box of rice, whatever it is you need, because we're gonna play some music, ready? And how are we gonna start it? We're gonna start it like we usually do, okay? Ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, loving that clave B. Shaking now, shaking it, right? Shaking it with me. Yeah. That's the clave, all right? Very cool instrument. So that's a good percussion break this afternoon. Hmm. Good instrument. Okay. Hey, you know what we're going to do again? Because I want to check on you guys. I want to check if you've been reading and listening to the Alpha Bone Orchestra. And I know you, you recognize it. I know well that you know this. She's like, well, look at this one right here, man. This is, this is Dr. Dude Be Funky's head going in all kinds of different places on my page, right? See that? Down and down, all kinds. He's a master of disguise. Remember that. See, there he is again. Dr. Dude Be Funky. And I know you've been reading the pages like, I mean, you know, we can read, you know, the I-bone and the F-bone. Remember the F-bone? Oh, yeah, the F-bone was fun, okay? F-bone was fun. F-bone Federation flew to France for the Fantastic Flu Festival. So anyway, I hope you've been looking at the book if you have it. And if you don't, I hope you've been listening to me read it to you, which is episode number one, our first journey. But... As we discussed, before the pictures got into the book, right? Before the pictures got into the book, right? There's, a, there's the Y bone. I had to paint them. So what we're going to do now is we're going to test your letters to see if you've been working on your letters. Okay? It's important to know your letters. You think you know this one? Hmm. This one might be too hard for you. You don't think so? You think you can, you can get this? All right, well, let's just see. What letter is this? Oh, look at that. See, there's Dr. Funky. Dr. Funky looking good, isn't he? Yes, he is. I'm peeking around a thing just like Dr. Funky is. Right? He's in purple, man. He's looking purple. Look at that crazy hair, too. Green eyes. What is it? It's the K-bone. Well, of course it's the K-bone. You knew that, didn't you? It's the cable. Now, what other words begin with K? Well, let's think about that for a second. Ah, I know. It's an animal. An animal that kind of hops around a lot. It's in Australia. Australia is a continent and a country. Is it? It's both. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. K. K, K. Kangaroo. It begins with K. What else? Ah, I know. We talked about it earlier. Where's Mr. F where's Dr. Dude be funky? Where's he? Where's he right now? Playing music, problem? Kansas City. K. K. The K bone. There you go. Kansas City. Oh man, if you ever get to chose Kansas City, oh yeah, it's a good place. Okay, so you got the K bone. Well, let's do one more before we move on. Oh. So let you see that before I was ready. Think you can get this one? It's going to be a lot harder than the cable. 
sure. Got it. All right. What letter is this? Ooh, yeah. Where, there's Dr. Funky around it. He's purple there, too. Huh. He's purple. He's a snappy dresser. Yes, there it is. What is that? Huh. It's the R bone. R, R bone. Where are the words being with R? Got any ideas? I know a couple. What's that one thing that, like, you know, like after, after it rains sometimes and it starts sunshine and like something goes all across the sky, man. You can see it in the sky. It's awesome. Lots of colors. Rainbow. That's right. It's a rainbow. That begins with R. R rainbow, right? Okay, that's a good one. Huh. I know another one. Huh. You fly. I remember, I remember seeing them flying with Santa Claus on sleigh. Reindeer. Reindeer. That begins with R. And how about, oh, it's a color. It's on this page. It's on this painting. Huh? Ruff, ruff. Red. Red. It begins with R. That's the R bone for you. So you know what? It's good to know that you guys are working on your letters, okay? We're going to keep on testing you, so you better keep studying those letters because it's important to know your letters. So you know what? I think what we're going to do is we're going to... I want to play a little bit more music with you, okay? And we'll play one of our favorite songs, Shake, Rattle, Roll. You know that one. You got your instruments. And uh, so I think we're going to play it right now. What do you think? How we're going to start it? You know how we're going to start it. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, get those in. Let's shake them around a little bit. Let's have some fun with this, okay? Get out of that bed and wash your face and hang. Get out of that bed and wash your face and hang. Remember, now you can sing with me on this song, too. Get to the cushion, make a noise with pots and pans. Wearing that dress. Sun shining through. Where you wear that dress, the sun shining through. You got your percussion, you know what to do. Shake, rattle and roll. Shake, rattle and roll. Shake, rattle and roll. Sitting on a hollow stone Like a Mississippi bullfrog Sitting on a hollow stone So many friends I don't know which way to jump Shake, rattle and roll Let me hear you now Shake, rattle and roll I can hear you Shake, rattle and roll fun what what else is that there's not much more fun than playing music together all right so again i so appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to to visit today uh so you know i'm dr john r gertie and on behalf of dr dude b funky i want to thank you for taking another journey through the Alpha Bone Orchestra with us. And again, we want to leave you that one important thought, okay? Keep on reading.
never stop singing. We will see you the next time. Well, shake, shake. Thank you.